Have you ever visited a website and they have no scroll to top button? I love going on a website and after scrolling through content, I am able to click a button to take me back to the top of the page. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to implement that in your React or Gatsby project. Let's get started. <laughs> We are going to create our scroll component and then we are going to install our dependencies. For this project we are going to be using Material UI so we are going to install Material UI core as well as Material UI icons. Let us now import React along with use state and use effect. We will also be using the expand less icon and the icon button as well as make styles from Material UI to style or icon. We're then going to create our component scroll. And we're going to return a div. In that div, we're going to have our icon button along with our expandless icon. And on click, we're going to call the function handle click. We're also going to be accepting a parameter called show below in our scroll. This show below parameter allows you to pass in some value that you want the to top button to be triggered on. In our handle click function, we're going to call window and pass in the parameters scroll to. This will then scroll to a particular set of coordinates. We're going to be setting that by saying top zero, which means the very top of the page, and we're going to give it a behavior of smooth. We are then going to create a show state and this will help to determine whether or not we should show the to top button. In our handle scroll function, we are going to compare the window page y offset to the show below value that has been passed in. If the window page offset is greater than show below, we are going to check that the show state is not already true. If it isn't, then we are going to set it to true. Else, if it is true, then we're going to set it to false. And this is what we're going to use to handle whether or not our to top button is shown. We're going to use use effect from React to add an event listener of scroll and call the handle scroll function when our page loads. We're also going to use it to remove the event listener and call back the function at the end. We're going to go into our index and we're going to import our scroll component and add it to our page and passing a parameter of 250. If we go to our page, we'll see the icon. However, it is not positioned properly. So we're going to add some styling. We're going to add the show condition around our div. The two top button will only show when the show below condition has been met. We're going to add some classes and some styling. We're going to have a Z index of two. Its position is going to be fixed. We're going to give it a background color and on hover, we are going to give it a different color. This is how your scroll component should now look. And if we go to our page and scroll down, we see it being triggered on the right. And if we click on it, we are immediately taken to the top of the page. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you in the next one.